Do you ever have really bad dry mouth or cotton mouth from eating a THC edible or smoking weed or tinctures or whatever? Today I'm going to tell you why you get that dry mouth, scientifically why that happens. I'm Shereen Kassam with MyPainCenter.com. I apologize, I am wearing my robe still and I am have my heating pad on in the middle of the day because <laughs> it's just one of those days, you guys. I just woke up and I'm just... I'm just not feeling it. I just, it's Sunday, my body hurts, it's raining outside. It's just one of those days. So I popped an edible and I got really bad dry mouth. Partly my fault, I'll tell you why. But let me break it down for you. Again, I'm Shereen Kassam with MyPainCenter.com. I can't remember if I already said that. Um, so how does this happen? So cotton mouth, dry mouth happens because when you take THC, inhale it, consume it, digest it, however you want to take it, the THC enters your body. It then binds to CB1 and CB2 receptors along your endocannabinoid system. Now your endocannabinoid system runs from your brain to your feet, and then the THC combines to it, and that's how you get all the benefits of THC. So whether it's pain relief, chronic pain, inflammation, sleep aid, appetite stimulant, nausea relief, PTSD, depression, um, anxiety relief, libido, all that stuff. Everything happens because the THC, mood upliftment, euphoria, all of that happens because the THC is binding to these receptors. Now, the receptor, the THC is also binding to the receptors in your saliva glands, in your saliv salivary glands. Um, and when THC is binding to these receptors in your saliva glands, it is reducing the amount of saliva that you're producing. And that's why you get the dry mouth or the cotton mouth. It should only last a couple hours. By the time you're not high anymore, it should be gone. Um, but there are ways that you can help decrease this sensation or combat it, because I know for some people it can be very annoying. So a couple things you can do is one, stay hydrated. Um, make sure you stay hydrated throughout the day. I This is where I went wrong. Last night I went out, had something to drink, a couple to drink. Um, and then I did not hydrate and I went to bed and I didn't hydrate this morning and then I took this gummy and now I'm suffering the consequences. So just make sure you hydrate. Um, you can hydrate with water, you can hydrate with herbal teas. Um, I would stay away from caffeine, I would stay away from alcohol. Um, you can hydrate by sucking candy, um, by chewing gum, um, herbal lozenges, things I would keep out of my mouth or things that you shouldn't have in your mouth anyways when you're dehydrated. So. Um, wherever your mind just went, I probably wouldn't have that in my mouth because that's just gonna make it worse um, and you're not gonna make a good impression. Uh, now I have a mental image of that in my head. Um, you wanna stay away from alcohol and caffeine because that can dehydrate you. You wanna stay away from tobacco products. Um, you also wanna stay away from salty food. So like, I'm most likely gonna open this bag of chips. Not a good idea. It's gonna make the dry mouth worse. Um, I'm going to deal with the consequences, but stay away from salty chips. Love to hear from you. What are things that you do to get rid of the dry mouth or combat the dry mouth? If you have any home remedies or anything that really works for you, let us know in the comments down below. Make sure you visit MyPainCenter.com to get all your THC products and hit that subscribe button. Have a great weekend and we'll talk soon. Bye.